Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to solve this differential equation. That means here we have to find this y is equals to cf plus pi, right? First we have to find cf. So for this we have to write down this differential equation in operator form and we have to proceed for finding cf, right? Here we have find CF for given differential equation. Now we have to find PI. So here we can check that we have given this function, right? And now we know that this function is not of any six cases. That means here we have to find PI by using method of variation of parameter, right? So for this first year we have to write down CF in this form c1 y1 plus c2 y2 right where this y1 is equals to this is e raised to x and y2 this is e raised to minus x here we have write down cf in this form from this we have find y1 y2 now we have to assume pi by method of variation of parameter pi is given by this u y1 plus v y2 where this y1 y2 we have to write down from this given cf and we know what is the value of u and v this u is equals to this is integration of minus y2 x upon w this integration is with respect to x and value of v is this integration of y1 x upon w right where this x is this given function and what is the value of w this is determinant of this y1 y2 in first row and in second row here we have y1 dash and y2 dash right y1 dash y2 dash these are the derivatives of this y1 y2 right now we have to proceed for finding pi. So here we have w. In first row here we have to write down y1, y2, e raised to x and e raised to minus x. And in second row we have to take its derivative. So derivative of this e raised to x, this e raised to x and this derivative here minus of e raised to minus x. Right. Now this is 2 by 2 determinant. We have to solve this is here. So we got this w is here minus 2 right now we have to find the value of u and v so here we have this u is this integral of minus y to x upon w right so we have to put the value of y2 y2 is e raised to minus x and x is here this value now we have to evaluate this integral for this we can take this minus 1 by 2 outside so here we have this plus 1 by 2 and remaining this is as here Now to evaluate this integral we can check that here we have here e raised to minus x right that means we can put here e raised to minus x as a t right. So on differentiating we get here this is minus of e raised to minus x dx is equals to dt right. So here we got this value e raised to minus x dx right that means here we have this is e raised to minus x dx is equals to this is minus dt. So we have to put this value here e raised to minus x as a t that means here we have this is t into sine of t plus cos of t right and this e raised to minus x dx is equals to minus dt.
we can take this minus outside so here we have this integral t sin t plus cos of t this integration is with respect to t right now we can separate this integral so here we have integration of t sin t and this is integration of cos of t right now yes this is by integration by parts so here we have first function into integration of second integration of sine this is minus cos of t minus derivative of this is 1 here this minus as it is and cos integral this is sine of t right and next here cos integral this is sine of t here we have applied generalized rule of integration by parts right first we have to write down this is by Liet rule and then we have to apply generalized rule of integration by parts now simplification of this is Now we have evaluate integral that means again we have to put the value of t. t is e raised to minus x right. So here we have this is 1 by 2 e raised to minus x cos of e raised to minus x minus of sin of e raised to minus x right. This is the value of u. we have put this t so that we got this u in the form of x variable now we have to find the value of v v is given by this integral integration of y1 x upon w we have to put this value y1 and x so here we have this y1 is e raised to x and value of x here this one. We have to take this minus 1 by 2 outside. So inside this integration here we have We have to multiply this e raised to x inside this bracket. This get cancelled. So here we have remaining e raised to minus x. And here we have e raised to x cos of e raised to minus x. Now we have to evaluate this integral. For this we have to put this e raised to minus x is equals to t so that here we have this is the value of dx we have to put this value of dx here so here we have v is equals to this minus 1 by 2 integration of sine of t plus this e raised to x what is the value of e raised to x from this we can write this is e raised to x this is 1 by t right so here we have to put this 1 by t and this cos of e raised to minus x that means this is cos of t and this is what is value of dx this is minus dt by t right now take this minus sign outside so here we have 1 by 2 and this is multiply this 1 by 2 to this bracket 
साइन टी वन बाई टी प्लस वन बाई टी स्क्वायर इंटू कॉस ऑफ टी दिस इंटीग्रेशन इज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टी नाउ वी हैव टू सिंप्लीफाई दिस इंटीग्रल we have separately apply here this integration here we can check that both this integral are never ending integral right so when we apply rule of integration by parts we get terms and terms right but this integral never gets end so first check that here by applying rule of integration by parts on this first integral yes what is the rule of integration by parts here we have to write down first function into integral of second so integral of sin this is minus cos of t minus integration of derivative of this function so derivative of 1 by t this is minus 1 upon t square right into integral of this second function integral of sin this is minus cos of t right and this integration is with respect to t right so we have apply integration by parts and we have to write down the second integral this is as it is now we have to simplify this is here so here we have this is minus of 1 upon t into cos of t and here we have this is 3 times minus so here we have minus of this integration of 1 upon t square cos of t now again yes we can apply rule of integration by parts here but again this get never ends now here we can check that here we got this integral and here we have already this integral that means yes this is here minus integral and this is plus here that means both integral this get cancel so here we have this remaining this is remaining term this is minus 1 by t into cos of t right so we have find the value of v and we have to put this t here t is yes this is here we have put e raised to minus x so we have to again resubstitute this value so we got this value of this 1 upon t t is e raised to minus x and this cos of e raised to minus x right and we can write this is as e raised to x cos of e raised to minus x we have write down this e raised to minus x in numerator right so we got this value of v here here we have to note down that yes both this integral are never ending integral right here we have apply rule of integration by parts right and we got term such that this integration get cancelled right so we got this required v now we have to put down this value of u and v to get required pi this is the value of y1 y2 and this is u and v now we have to simplify yes this is e raised to x and e raised to minus x this get cancelled so value of this is 1 here right so this this term and this term yes this is plus term and this minus term so both this get cancelled so here we are remaining this one this is minus of e raised to minus x into e raised to x and this is the pi right 
so here we write down this e raised to x this is first year and we have this is e raised to minus x this is the pi right yes here we have put down this value of u v and y1 y2 so on simplification we got this pi here yes here we have this is e raised to x e raised to minus x that means by rule of indices this is e raised to 0 and we have this is 1 right now we have to write down solution y is equals to cf plus pi so cf is here c1 e raised to x c2 e raised to minus x and this is pi this is minus of e raised to x into sine of e raised to minus x right and this is the required solution of given differential equation right so that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching